Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Carolyn. I am a mama to twin toddlers, summer and winter, and as a family of four, we love to travel. With that said, I have just recently shared a video not too long ago of us traveling with our travel carts and car seats all the way through the airport and getting to use the car seats on the airplane. But this video is a little bit different because it did not go according to plan. When we arrived at the airport, all excited and ready to do the exact same thing that we did the previous time, bringing the car seats all the way to the gate and then using them on the airplane, assuming that there are extra seats, which we were very hopeful because last time that we flew, we had tons of extra seats around us. That didn't happen because the person at the gate was in a bad mood and told us that we couldn't have our car seats, regardless of the fact that there were about 10 open seats all around us on our long haul flight and also on the short flight for that matter. We had multiple flights and all of them had extra space. So we ended up walking with two toddlers, not even two years old, all the way through the airport. There's no real way of them being transported because our car seats had been taken from us and they literally didn't even let us bring it to the gate to gate check it. They forced us to check it at the check-in desk, which I was really nervous about because I was convinced they were gonna be so trashed by the time that we got back. I did not wanna have broken car seats when we got back home, but I was really, relieved to tell you that they were completely fine and intact. We did have extra bags for them in case we had to check them. I just would have preferred to gate check them rather than put them in at the check-in desk. With that said, here's what our flight looked like. first flight was from Berlin to Munich, which was just a little over an hour, and then the second flight was from Munich all the way to Denver, which was about 11 hours. One tip regarding snacks on the airplane is I usually try to buy something that they haven't had before so that it's exciting and new and they want it. During our layover, we decided to go talk to the customer service to see if there was any chance that we could get the car seats just for the long haul flight, because after all, it would make everyone's flight a little smoother, right? <laughs> so after a long conversation, they gave us hope, but by the time that we got to the actual gate, the people at the gate were the ones who ultimately made the decision and said no. They told us the reason we couldn't have our car seats was because it was a fully booked flight, but we ended up having about 10 open seats all around us. We 
tried making a makeshift bed, but because it was a daytime flight, it was much more difficult for them to fall asleep versus the nighttime flight. But without a doubt, flying with car seats was definitely easier. So overall, even though the flight was a little bit more hectic than normal and I wasn't able to get a ton of footage, the girls did pretty good, but they were awake for most of the entire flight and therefore we didn't get to sleep and we ended up just playing games with them and engaging with them and reading books and talking to people. And we even made friends with some other little kids on the flight that were in a similar situation. So you never know what's gonna happen, but we just went with the flow and stayed positive. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that this video was helpful for you. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.